Uh, good morning. I speak to you this morning as the head of the elected UN electorate and spectrate. Let's we'll see how good it is to be back here in the US of K. Your beautiful country is the birthmark of demography. I want to first of all unbridle you of the importunity that lies before you on the eve of these ejections. Let me say this. For many peoples, there will be a derivation to ejaculate their adherence to the ballot box. Your expectorant has been vilified by numerous contortions. You've seen the ovulation of unrequited expectations, the downturn of the erogenous discovery, the ejection of suppliants, subprime mortgage extrapolation, contortion, overindulgence, underemployment, Multitudes have been vivisected by the varied approbation of members of the Common House of Representatives. There has been cash for duck ponds, sewage removal from the Moat House Motel, and the vile turpitude exacerbated by the soliciting of pornographic films. Consubstantially, many have been analyzed by the grotesque assumption of financial inducements. The world has been inundated with the deluge of the receding waters of global expression. The rising tide of inflatables has been swept away in the current of expediency. The banks have burst their dikes. And now, the seemingly impregnable orifices of the multifaceted internationals are seeping with the damp guilt of unexpurgated aggrandizement. These appendectomies are the precedents of the demographic process or a stain on the pants of humanity. But the importunity to exfoliate such contrivance from your systemic ablution is now contaminated throughout these ancient and histrionic burgers. Here, where the birthmark of demography was convenienced, you once again are elevated to the duty of subservience. I adjure you to mollify your commendables. This is your hour. Today is the eve of a new dawn, which will herald the end of a fresh beginning. Whether that orifice is confabulated by Jeffrey Brown, Damien Cameroon, Rick Ellsberger III, or the Skippy Party, your flotation will accentuate the virtues of appeasement and mollify the displacements across the free world. During the course of these ejections, and in every corner of the United British Emirates, each filling station will be atrophied. Our reprehensibles will not be deviated from their solemn and confounded duty. They will enjoy the jurisprudence of your ejection. They will oversize the veniality of your obfuscation. In every state, in every county, in every city hall, town hall, village hall, free for all, shopping mall, in every pubic inconvenience, the bullet box will be our single presumption. We will imbibe the gravity of these ejections. They will be fair and free. They will be obdurate and unprovoked. They will be impervious and unparalleled. They will be obtuse and disconsolate. They will be commensurate with the annals of our diaphragm. It is the total submission of our coagulates to ratify the upholstery of the UN. Above all, these ejections will bemuse the expectorant of the importunity to exacerbate their nonchalance towards demography. So whether after July the 4th, your new president is Godfrey Brown, Davis Camisole, Dick Happersberger the 4th, or a representative of the Skippy people, I would ascertain this context to wish you Good fortune. May your ligatures coalesce the memory of your colostomy. May God bless you all, and God bless Armenia. Thank you. No, no questions. Thank you so much. Thank you.